Back in developments now in a trial for a man charged with beating a West Greenwich man to death and attacking and fighting with officers and a police dog. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Pixoto is working the latest on that case of Christian Lepore. She's live with the Mobile Newsroom in Warwick. Brian, two Rhode Island State Police troopers testified this morning. They described arriving at the scene of the murder and the immense struggle it took to subdue the suspect. Both troopers said they had never experienced anything like it in their lives. To recap, 35-year-old Christian Lepore is accused of brutally beating 62-year-old John O'Neill to death. The alleged attack appeared random and unprovoked. It happened in May 2016 outside O'Neill's home on John Potter Road in West Greenwich. Trooper Justin Androsi was one of the first officers to arrive on scene. He testified this morning that Lepore was naked, screaming vulgarities, and talking gibberish. In an attempt to apprehend Lepore, Trooper Androsi tased him. Androsi says this had seemingly no effect on Lepore, who just stood there staring before ripping the taser prongs out of his body. The trooper then released his canine, instructing the dog to bite Lepore in the midsection. Trooper Androsi says Lepore put the dog in a headlock and began repeatedly punching him. It eventually took four officers to get Lepore to the ground. The taser, pepper spray, and police K9 had very little effect on him. The whole time, troopers say Lepore was threatening to kill them, speaking gibberish and spitting blood at them. Both troopers testified they believed Lepore may have been on drugs and one said he thought he may be mentally ill. Now, yesterday, five witnesses took the stand, including some of Lepore's fellow co workers, who said Lepore was talking about aliens and a government conspiracy just hours before the alleged murder. More witnesses are on the stand right now. We'll have much more on this trial starting tonight, live at 5. Live in Warwick with the West Bay Mobile News. Newsroom, Julianne Pixoto, Eyewitness News.